What's happening? What's going on? Welcome back to another product spotlight video. I am super pumped to bring you this video on Yorkville's EXM Mobile 8. This speaker right here has by far been one of my favorite additions to my arsenal and today I'm giving you the rundown, everything you need to know about this speaker here. So let's not waste any time and take a look at some key features and specs. The EXM Mobile 8 is a 200 watt 8 inch speaker with a max XBL boasting 117 dBs, peak SBL being 123 dBs. It's got a 5 hour battery life and weighs only 17 pounds. Other key features include an LED battery life indicator, 3 combo jack XLR inputs, Bluetooth connectivity, and a reverb and music shape filter. I've been using this speaker extensively since it arrived in the mail. I've been using it as my ceremony, my cocktail, and even my booth monitors. I've been using this thing non-stop. As you guys can see here, it has taken a uh, couple of battle scars, this one being the biggest one right here. I actually chipped this thing. So this is it. This is the EXF Mobile 8 from Yorkville. The first time we are using it in a real world situation. As you guys can see, we're here at the beautiful Parks of Moore. And if you turn around, show them the, the cocktail hour, this is what we're going to be using the speaker for. The speaker is going to be providing sound for this entire room. We're going to be running a playlist that we've curated for the bride and groom. And it's all going to be coming out of this bad boy here. A couple of first initial thoughts. Uh, this is my first time out and it's already taken a couple of beatings. Uh, I always say this, but I never baby my equipment and this one was no exception. And uh, it's already starting to show. As you guys can see, just from transport, uh, it's already got scratches here, here, and here. So uh, I'm not a fan of the coating of the grill so far. But we'll give you guys more an in-depth review when we actually start playing music and uh, we can actually hear how it sounds. I'll also get the input from these guys here so that you guys can get uh, you know, an idea of whether or not the speaker is right for you. I love the form factor. I love that it's super small, compact. It's also battery powered. Today we're not going battery powered because it's been sitting in my car for a little bit and I just, uh, you know, I want to be safe and sorry. So uh, let's go ahead and peel this off. Get ready for satisfaction. Smash that like button. Ooh. So, all right. Uh, cocktail hour set up. Before I give you guys my thoughts, let me give you guys just a little tour of this speaker here. Starting off with the grill. The grill is a solid circular pattern grill with the Yorkville logo. And you know, as soon as people see this, you know it's quality. Yorkville is known for putting out solid gear. It's honestly, just a beautiful speaker. You have a handle right here at the top making carrying this thing around super easy. It's not too heavy weighs only about 17 pounds and it definitely feels like a premium product. Pretty standard on the bottom of the speaker you have your cup mount for placing this on a tripod. You can also wedge this thing sideways like so and you can also wedge it standing up like you see here. On the side of the speaker is where we get into our inputs and outputs and all the fun stuff that comes built in with the speaker. Let's start with our inputs and outputs first and then we'll get into some of the dials, some of the knobs and what exactly it is that they do. We have three combo jack XLR inputs. Input number two is particularly designed for instruments so if you guys are musicians I'm happy to report that they got you guys covered. Channel number three more or less serves as our auxiliary channel as you'll also be able to Bluetooth into the speaker using that channel. However, you do have an XLR line slash mic input so that if you do want to go right into it and use it like a traditional input, you can do that as well. Right underneath, you have your main output XLR out. That's great, especially if you're doing ceremonies with this thing. Your videographer is going to be able to tap right into the speaker. And lastly, at the very bottom, you have your IEC 
connection. This is a battery powered speaker, so you can use it plugged into the wall or you can use it right out of the box. Just turn it on and you'll see that it's a full battery powered speaker. And I can wholeheartedly attest that you will get a long amount of battery life. I was able to get three cocktail hours out of this speaker without needing a recharge. That's gonna vary depending on how loud you're pushing this thing. Like I mentioned, it gets really loud. I even had some complaints saying, hey, you need to turn that speaker down because it's just overpowering the cocktail hour. Just bear in mind, as with any speaker that has a battery in it, your mileage is gonna vary depending on how hard you're pushing that thing and what exactly it is that you're doing. For me, mostly when I was doing my cocktail hours, I was essentially just Bluetoothing in and I had the volume running at around a quarter or nine o'clock, maybe even 11 o'clock or so. And uh, it sounded great, it was loud, it was punchy, and I was getting a ton of compliments from people saying, what is that thing? Just because it sounds so full, so rich. You have a couple of different controls. Each one of our channels, each one of our three channels, has an individual volume control, as well as an additional master volume control. As I previously mentioned, channel two does have a little bit more to it, as you can denote whether it's an instrument or a microphone. So you have two options to choose from there. Channel one is our standard input, which gives you both master control, shape control, which I touched on in the unboxing of this video. In layman's terms, what shape does is it kills the lower frequencies when you bring it to speech, and when you bring it to music, it bumps up those lower frequencies and gives you a bit of a more punchy sound. And you know, me being the basic DJ that I am, I love feeling that bass. I love having a full, you know, concert style sound. I love having my shape all the way set to music and, you know, cracking it up a little bit, giving it a little bit of punch. You're going to get great sound out of that and that shape control is essentially what it does. This is the first time I've seen this style of knob implemented. Most of the times when you see speakers of this caliber, you'll see a high and a low knob. However, they just more or less incorporated it into one, which I think is great. I think it's a great way to incorporating because with these speakers, you're not really, you know, doing too much EQing with it. You just kind of want to take it out of the box and just have something that works. So I think that shape filter is a great add-on. In addition, channels one and two also have a reverb, as I mentioned, not just for DJs, but for musicians as well. Reverb is there. Not something that you would use as a DJ, but if you're a musician, a vocalist, a guitarist, or something like that, that's great that you have that little reverb to give you a little bit of backup. It's great to have that so that it gives you that exact sound that you're looking for. So lastly, on channel three, we don't really have much going on here, but it is a very crucial input. Channel three is the input that I use the most. You, of course, have your shape filter knob on channel three. You can set it to music, you can set it to speech, whatever you'd like, or you can go right into it with an eighth inch chord, or as we call it in the hood, an aux chord. You can just take an aux chord right from your MP3 player, iPod, iPad, whatever it may be. You go right into it, you can aux in, and you can play your music directly that way. My personal favorite way of using this speaker is with Bluetooth, and you have your Bluetooth button right there next to the aux input. The way you connect via Bluetooth is very simple. All you do is hold down the knob for four seconds. One, two, three, four. You'll notice the Bluetooth start blinking, and I'll connect to the EXM Mobile 8 right here on my phone. Boom, we are connected. And then I can go to no copyright music. Let's go to most popular, no copyright sounds. Play the first song here. And, and then we'll start playing it. Okay, so on the drop of this song, I'm going to show you guys how the shape filter works. I'm going to bring it all the way down to music, which is what it's at right now, and then I'm going to raise it up to speech so that you guys can hear how it kind of cuts down on those lows. So let's listen up. Notice 
is how we lost the bass. Now again, that's meant for vocals, so when you're doing ceremony, you might want to crank this up. Another great way of implementing this feature is when you're doing outdoor events, maybe you're doing a ceremony, it might be a little bit windy outside, you might want to crank up that shape knob all the way up to speech because that's going to help cut down that wind noise that you might get going into the microphone. So you noticed it really well there how we completely lost the lows once I cranked up that shape filter. I'll just demonstrate one more more time for you guys. How good does that sound? This speaker sounds incredible. I don't know what kind of voodoo they did EQing this thing. I don't know what their sound engineers did to get this kind of sound out of a speaker this small, but holy shit, it sounds so good. <laughs> a ton of these portable PA speakers, these battery powered speakers that have become so popular over the last couple years. I've pretty much tried them all. I've tried the Bose S1, I've tried the JBL Eon, I've also tried the Mackie Thump Go, and I have to say, if we're just comparing just straight up sound who do I pick? I'm going with this guy right here. It has the most complete, full, warm audio out of all of those speakers. It's just a great sounding speaker. This speaker has officially entered my arsenal full time because it's so loud, because it's so clear, because it's battery powered. It's just a great all around speaker. Bros, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concern about the Yorkville EXM Mobile 8, please don't hesitate to ask them down in the comments below. Additionally, I'm going to leave more reference links if you guys want a little bit more information or if you guys are looking for a place to buy the EXM Mobile 8, I'm going to leave some links down in the description of this video. Thank you bro so much for being awesome. Please be sure to smash that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you're new around here and don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time we do another product spotlight video. Huge shout out to my good friends over at your Phil for sending this speaker over for review. And lastly, thank you bros for watching. Signing off, DJ Barb. Stay awesome bros. Peace.